Thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate uh, being able to speak. Um, let's be clear. I just uh, want to reiterate, uh, reiterate uh, what the gentleman from Idaho just said. Uh, this debate is today we're, is not about a woman's right to choose. It's about American taxpayers being forced to pay for abortions. By the way, I, uh, I knew Henry Hyde. I, uh, I had the privilege to serve with uh, Henry for uh, many years. And uh, I, I want to say, as people who didn't uh, have the opportunity to know him, um, I remember the days when people would come down to the floor and fill the floor to, if Henry was going to speak, because he was such a, a great orator, no matter on what subject he would speak on. He's, he wasn't just a, a, someone who spoke about abortion. He spoke about a, a number of issues. He was a very passionate individual. He was a, he was a great man, and so I just wanted to say that for those who didn't know him. But the Hyde Amendment has been included in this bill, as has been mentioned over and over again, for many years. And, you know, look, look I'm a pragmatic individual. Uh, you know, this, debating this legislation, you know, at some point you're going to say, we're wasting time, your time, the American people's time, because we all know this language is not going to make it through conference. It's just a fact. So uh, I urge my colleagues to support the amendment. With that, thank you, and I yield back.